Uh, greetings, Matt fans. All right, so this is day five uh, notes. All right, so what I'm going to do is just because I don't want to spend all this time going over this other stuff. This is all review. This is adding and subtracting polynomials. This is uh, distributing. This is using FOIL, some systems of equations, and this is page two where we actually start our notes. Okay, so this is actually really, really similar to what we already learned. Uh, when you use FOIL, basically what FOIL is, math fans, let me just like kind of write on the top here. If I have two terms like x plus 3 and x minus 7, FOIL is literally multiplying by its first, outer, inner, and last. So notice what I'm doing is I'm multiplying that x, this x, by the first and second term, and then I'm multiplying that 3 by the first and second term. So I'm multiplying everything inside the first set of parentheses by everything inside the second set of parentheses. Okay, it's all I'm doing. So what's, what I'm doing here now for this next one is basically the exact same thing except I've got more than just one term. I have, uh, or I have three terms here. So basically I'm going to multiply the d times d squared, the d times negative 2d, and the d times negative 6. Then I'm going to multiply the negative 5 times d squared, negative 5 times negative 2d, and negative 5 times negative 6. Okay, that's all I'm going to do. So this is this is what I did. I left uh, the blank here, so let me kind of erase this again here. Okay, and um, so d times d squared. So let me actually just write out the work. d times d squared. That's the first, this, this guy multiplied by the first term. Now it's this guy multiplied by the second term, so it's d times negative 2d. And then the next one is d times negative 6. Okay, then I'm going to say the negative 5. So it's negative 5 times d squared. And then I'm going to say negative 5 times negative 2d. And then negative 5 times negative 6. Okay, so far so good. All right, now I just, I got to multiply everything together here. Um, so let me just do that. I, I didn't really leave space for it because I, simplifying is actually multiplying it together or uh, combining like terms, adding it together. So d times d squared, I'll write it here underneath in red. This is d, this is d cubed. d times negative 2d is negative 2d squared. Okay, so let me just circle these. Uh, d times negative 6 is negative 6d. Um, negative 5 times d squared is negative 5d squared. Negative 5 times negative 2 is plus 10d. And negative 5 times negative 6 is plus 30. Okay, now I'm going to combine like terms together. All right, my like terms are, are going to be basically these two and these two. Right, the other ones are numbers or or d cubed. Okay, so my final answer then is going to be d cubed. Uh, negative two d squared minus five d squared is negative seven d squared. Negative six d plus ten d is plus four d, and then plus thirty, and that's your answer. Okay, so it's not difficult. It really isn't bad at all. So let's do the next one here. It's two x times three x squared is six x cubed. Now be careful, right? When you it's if you want to put an x to the one there, because you're adding your exponents. So x to the one times x to the two is x to the three. So it's six x cubed. And then it's minus so two x times negative four x is negative eight x squared. And two x times two is plus four x. Alright? Now three times those. So three times three x squared is nine x squared. 3 times negative 4x is negative 12x, and 3x, or 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, then I combine them together. Nothing to combine with this one. So I get 6x cubed. These two I combine. So negative 8x squared plus 9x squared is plus 1x squared, or plus x squared. Um, 4x minus 12x is negative 8x, and then plus 6. And that's the answer. Okay, pretty easy, right? All right, so let's do uh, let's do another one here. Uh, a times a squared is a cubed. A times six a is six a squared. A times negative seven is negative seven a. Negative two times a squared. Negative two a squared. 
negative 2 times 6a, negative 12a, and negative 2 times negative 7 is plus 14. Okay, so a is cubed. Combine these two together, so plus 4a squared. Uh, the negative 7a minus 12a is minus, minus 19a, and then plus 14. That's your answer. Okay, pretty easy, right? Okay, the next one, 3x times 2x squared is 6x cubed. 3x times negative 5x is negative 15x squared. 3x times 10 is plus 30x. Negative 6 times 2x squared is negative 12x squared. Negative 6 times negative 5 is plus 30x. And negative 6 times 10 is negative 60. Okay, so we have 6x cubed. These are like terms, so minus 27x squared. These are like terms, so plus 60x. And then just the minus 60. Okay? So that's that's it. That's uh, It's pretty easy, just literally multiplying polynomials. Okay, so the only thing I have to ask you guys to be careful about is be careful when it says multiply versus these guys here, right? There's a subtraction sign or there's there could be an addition sign in between as well. Okay, so that's not multiplication. That's like we did before, just combining like terms. Okay, that's it, my fans. That was pretty mellow for uh, day five notes. Have an outstanding day. Adios. Goodbye.